Love with Quote Possible, and I'm here with Robbie Eklo. We're doing a little um, on location visit with Robbie. She just got her go. Um, in the previous video, we opened up the go, and now we're going to talk a little bit about the dye that came with it and open up the package. So, what was something that you noticed when you um, first pulled pulled this dye out of the um, out of the box? Is this a quiz? <laughs> it's a little bit of a quiz. Oh, then it came with a dental pick. <laughs> So on the back of your value die, there should be a, a die pick um, taped to the back of the die. So this yeah, is where it's important. Not, yours is taped pretty well. Um, so this is where it's important not to just toss the box right away because you want to make sure that you're, you get the die, the mat, and the die pick that came with it. And then there's these little plastic things that protect the pointy parts. Yeah, so you want to be careful. These are really, um, that's a really sharp tool. But what we use that for is sometimes threads will get caught in uh -huh. between the foam and the blade. So you use that to kind of pick out uh -huh. the little threads that get caught. Okay. Or for plain dentist. Awesome. <laughs> so um, You could just sit there and clean yeah, your teeth. Yeah, clean your teeth. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and open this up. So the other cool thing about the, um, the dyes that Acupult sends is they have patterns that come with them. So right out of the box, you really are ready to quilt if you've got some fabric. Oh, look, more cutting tips. More cutting tips. So every die will come with some cutting tips, some information on patterns, and a couple of things um, there. And uh, this die, so when you look at this die, you might say, gosh, there's just nothing there. Oh, look you at this really quilt. You know what I like about this? A lot of lime green. Yes, AccuQuilt definitely loves. It's actually Go Green. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that's there. But uh, but a lot of um, green and turquoise and orange, that's kind of uh, AccuQuilt's color palette, um, which, which I love because I love turquoise. And pink, too. I think pink is in there. Mm -hmm. So these dyes, you can't really... If you're looking at this, and I don't know that this can show up on camera, but when you look at this, you can kind of barely see some shapes that are on the die. So you can kind of see here uh -huh. that there's something there. So you have to be um, a little bit careful because when we're using rotary blades, a lot of times the blade will retract. Right. Um, and it will protect you. Um, where these are kind of the same concept, the blades are buried in the foam. Are they sharp? See them. They are super sharp. They oh. are razor sharp. Oh, okay. So you never want to put your die on the <gasps> table and lean on them. Yeah, no, that would be bad. Okay. <laughs> that would be bad. Do okay, not so use, stop yeah, doing so that. So stop, okay, I'll stop doing that. Um, so you never want to do that. You always want to pick up the die um, by the edges until you actually know where the blades are. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you how to do okay. is to actually outline the dies. So we have a couple of markers here. I typically use silver. Some people use black. You can use gold. Anything that you're going to be able to see. I think that's um, you don't want to use a marker that you ever want to have a hope of using again because this process does kind of chew up the markers a little bit. But what I'm going to have you do... These were Target. Oh, they were Target. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to have you do, Robbie, is... Um, and you can kind of rotate this a little bit, but we okay. know that the shape that's on this die, so if we pull out this package, we know that this actually shows you the layout, how the die is laid out. So there's a big square, two triangles, and a smaller square. You can kind of see the shape, and if you rotate this die a little bit in the light, and it helps if you're standing directly under a lamp, because if you rotate the die a little bit, you can kind of see where the edges are. So what I want you to do is just take a hold of this and you're going to stick your marker in one of those uh, edges and just okay. follow it along. So if you kind of press a little bit hard, it'll, sh it'll stop when you get to the end of the, the blade. So if you've got the point of, oh, the, sharp, of the marker inside that, that, um, that foam, it's going to tell you when to stop because you'll get to the end of the blade. So that's why it chews up your markers because you're kind of shoving the marker down Oops. in there. That's okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. Okay, so okay. keep going. Yeah, so keep going. So you want to do the triangle too. And the triangles have, um, they're dog-eared, which is really great because they, they cut these little points off so that you don't have to trim them really? in the seam allowance. Yeah. I can't see So that makes half square triangles. I have really no clue. The other you thing, should get fluorescent line. There you go. Yeah, I need yeah. fluorescent line. I need a go green sharpie. 
Um, so the other thing about this die that you notice, do you see how it's crooked? It's crooked. But on purpose, I assume. Yes, it's crooked on purpose. And the reason for this um, is that they angle the dies in the board so that you can, um, so that when you're cutting, you're only cutting a little bit of the blade at once. If this went in completely straight, you would be flexing the blade. Well, also, if you think about, you know how scissors work? Yeah. And they go, because you squeeze it and it goes along? Yes. So when you roll this under the, the roller, it presses here and then here and then here and then mm -hmm. here. And it's moving it along. Whereas if you just if it was straight, it would just go clunk. It would clunk. just stop, yeah, go yeah. clunk. And that's where um, you do end up, you can get miscuts if you do that. So there are some dies um, that where the shapes aren't angled, so you have to kind of angle it, you know, for, oh, for okay. it. So you do have to kind of watch. The strip dies are not angled um, in the boards, and that's okay because the lines are vertical. So the right, lines so are in this not, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so the strip dies don't have to be that way. Okay. So so the question that I get all the time is, well, do I follow the the way that this is angled, or do I line my fabric up with the edge of the board? Oh, no, I'd line it up with this. Exactly. See, you're a pro at this already. So you really, you want to follow the angle um, of, the, of the dies in the board. So what's going to help us do this is we're going to draw a registration line that helps us to align the fabric. Oh, okay. So that's the other thing with the marking that we're going to do. So we're going to take, um, we need our marker again, and we're going to take this ruler, so any acrylic ruler will do. And what you want to do is, uh, if I can find the quarter inch mark, is you want to align the quarter inch line with the edge of the blade, because now you can see the blade, because you marked it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to draw a straight line on the edge. Okay. So I'll have... Oh, I see what you're saying. Also, you know, this ruler sticks yeah which is physically awesome. because it's got well i guess okay. so you see if you think it's lined up enough yeah. yeah so the sharpie line is a little bit wide but this at least helps you to kind of see the line so you're basically lining this up with a quarter inch um extra on the side and you're going to draw that straight line along the edge of the ruler and Robbie's left-handed, so I probably <laughs> should have flipped this around because okay. Robbie's left-handed. I always forget that. But we're just drawing that um, that straight line. Oh, no. So there we go. Um, and then on other um, and on a die like this too, I like to do the do the straight line the other direction too. So now I have two points. I have an intersecting line. Very professional. That's square. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So this is how Robbie's value die is marked here. So now whether I'm cutting strips and I want to just cut this square um, this way, I can align it with this line or I could align it with this line or I can just make sure that everything's lined up. Gotcha. Now do you write on the back? I sometimes will write on the back, but that's a good question. So like sometimes um, I'll write um, for some of the shapes, like especially the applique shapes that are kind of uh -huh. funny shaped. Uh -huh. I will um, measure how big the shape is plus the quarter inch, or the actually it's a half uh -huh. inch, quarter inch on all sides, and then I'll write on top of the foam what size piece I need to cover that shape. Oh, okay. So, so these triangles, mm -hmm. this makes a half square triangle that finishes to? to um, it finishes at two inches. So I, I would, I'm going to take a Sharpie. And right on the I'm back. Right on the back. Okay. Here you go. Not that okay, one. Okay, not that one. Here, hold this. Okay, hold this for me. I'll be right back. Just gonna get another sharpie. Because I have a special <laughs> sharpie that says "Goddess of the Last Month" ah. that I have not found a good use for. There you go. <laughs> so okay. So what did you say? Uh, it finishes at the half square triangles finish at two inches. So half square triangle. And this is a great reference, um, and lots of people do this differently. I write on the phone, Robbie's writing on the back. Um, two inches? Keeping, yes, finishes at two inches. Okay. And the square, you have two squares. There's a four and a half inch square that finishes at four inches, and a two inch, two and a half inch square that finishes at two inches. So right there, you've got the foundations to make four patch blocks that, um, 
So you could put two, four of those two inch finish squares together and make a four inch finish square that matches with the plain block. So you've got lots of options already for making some traditional pieces right with this die. And like I said, there, there's a pattern that comes with it. A square triangle finish And you have two such inches. beautiful handwriting too. Why, thank you, my third grade teacher. <laughs> Who's probably dead now? So awesome. Very impressed. Great. She'd be like 300 years old. <laughs> See, so this is a good use because look, I got my own pen, my own sharpie. That's here. awesome. They got us the last one. I would love to have one of those. You can have one. Yeah. I have look, of I just them. scored a marker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So awesome. So I think um, in the next video we'll talk about doing some cutting and maybe we'll okay. we'll cut for a little. We're not going to just roll tape while I mark. My entire collection of ties. <laughs> no, I think I will cut the tape. Okay. Then fine. you can mark and then we can roll tape again. Okay. Awesome. All right, so in the next video we'll um we'll do a little bit of cutting and we'll be back with Rami Eklo. Did you bring